Good morning, everyone. This is Jerry Udelson. I'm talking to you from San Diego, California. And last night I posted on the BDC network an article, three things that we can learn from the coronavirus pandemic. I recall the statement from President Obama's first chief of staff, Rahm Emanuel, never let a good crisis go to waste. And while we work our way through the issues of social distancing and lockdowns and effects on our business and our professions, we should keep our eye on the long picture. And the long picture is that over the next decade, global climate change is going to have a tremendous effect on our homes, our communities, our livelihoods. And we as designers and builders have something to do with that, something to say about it. And so I think there are three lessons that we learned from the current pandemic that we can put into practice right away. The first is we don't really have any time to waste. We know from various UN reports that over the next 10 years until 2030, we have only a 50% chance of holding global warming to two degrees centigrade, 3.6 Fahrenheit, no matter what we do. And since we're designing new buildings and designing them for 50 or 100 years, we really should be designing buildings that don't put a burden on the earth in the future. That means zero net energy buildings. Start today. Don't let your clients or the budgets talk you out of it. We've learned enough about integrated design and green building over the last 20 years. We know how to do these things. The second, as architect Edward Masria has pointed out, is that we need zero embodied carbon because over the next 10 years, the carbon used to produce the building materials in the buildings we design is actually going to have a bigger global impact than the energy use from the buildings themselves. So zero embodied carbon. And the good news is there's lots of information resources out there that can help us do that. And the third thing that we've learned is that even while we're worried about the impact on the globe and on the global environment, we have to make our buildings healthier. And we now have, I read the other day, 100 million square meters of well-certified buildings. So there's no longer any excuse for not making a building as absolutely as healthy as possible under current budgets. We know how to do this. So three things, net zero energy, zero embodied carbon, ultra healthy buildings, that's going to take us through the pandemic of climate change in much better fashion. Thank you very much.